everybody, welcome back to Tea Ups and Blossoms. My name is Rebecca, and today I'm going to be re From Mighty Leaf Tea. Is that it? Yeah, it's Mighty Leaf Tea. <laughs> this is the first tea that I've ever had from this company, and the sample that I got was only one tea bag, so I wish that I had the tea bag to show you. I might put a picture up right now, but I might not, so I'm not gonna make any weird faces. Yeah, that's what the tea bag looks like. What, what? Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I've already said it's a tea bag, but it is whole leaf, and it is a mixture of Cylon and Chinese black tea. Something that I was really impressed with were the tea bags itself. Because the tea bags are like the little mesh, but then they were actually sewn together with thread, and the tea bag string that's attached to the tea bag and like the little tag was like knotted thread, and I was like, what? And it was so stretchy and like, ding, ding, ding. it was just like so cool that they actually put that effort into it and it wasn't just like melted together on the sides. So I really liked that, except that because they were sewn, there was like little holes in it and so like a lot of the fannings were coming out. But, you know, I thought it was really cool because I was like, I've never seen this before. What? The leaves are very small, but they're not quite fannings. And the dry aroma of this tea was like a deep sweetness. I could kind of smell a little vanilla, but to me, it kind of just smelled like a sweet black tea. The brew tea smelled sweet and chocolatey and vanilla-y and it smelled really good. The taste of this tea was kind of what I was expecting. It was like your classic black tea but with vanilla ribbons inside. So when you got that little bit of vanilla, you're like, ooh, that's good. But it was like, it tasted like your classic black tea, like something that your grandma would give you, like when you came, went over to her house. It was kind of like that, but good. The mouthfeel is very thick and watery, but it's also really puckery on your throat. And it doesn't help that the uh, aftertaste is sour, so you're like pucker, plus you have like the sour taste on the back of your tongue. But as you're drinking it, it tastes really good. It's just the aftertaste and the pucker that's not... Pleasant. I'm not a big fan of that part. This tea is pleasant, but I probably wouldn't buy it. And if somebody asked me what, like, what black teas I recommend, I probably wouldn't recommend this tea. But if somebody said, "Hey, what do you think about vanilla bean from Mighty Leaf?" I'd be like, "Oh, that's a pretty good tea." And I would tell them exactly what I told you guys. But I don't know. It wouldn't be like the first thing I would recommend, but I wouldn't be like, "Oh, absolutely, do not get that tea." I hope you guys are having an amazing day full of tea and happiness, and I will see you next time. Bye!